Hi, I'm Pam East, and today I'm going to show you Counter Enamel. Counter Enamel is a product to allow you to put enamel on the back side of the piece. You need enamel on both the front and the back because if you don't, the enamel will crack. Enamel exerts force on the, on the metal and you have to equalize the pressure. Counter Enamel goes on like cement. You can turn the piece over, it's not going to drop off. This allows you to, do the, to fire the front and the back at the same time. That's very important when you're working on metals like copper. If you don't do the front and the back at the same time, you're going to have a lot of problems with fire scale. This product also works great on silver. Are you ready to get started? To use counter enamel, you're going to start by mixing it up. You'll just open the little jar here. And this is an enamel spatula, which I can use to um, scoop a little bit into the mixing cup. Just scoop it a little bit up. Don't mix up more than you're going to need for your project. Or not too much more anyway. When you add the water, um, use distilled water and use a pipette. Um, the, you don't want to add the water too quickly because it saturates very quickly and you don't want to get it too wet. So adding the water a little at a time allows you to get it just right. The consistency you're going for is you want it to be creamy and smooth, but you don't want it to run. You want it to stay where you put it. And there it is. That's what I'm looking for. It's nice and smooth on the surface, but it doesn't really move when I tip this thing. So that's all mixed up. And now I'm going to um, put it onto the back of my piece. I have already cleaned this piece with Prenamel and so that I know that it's going to stick. If you find the material is pulling from the edges or beating up, then it's not clean enough. You need to clean it again. And I'm just going to lay it on. I'm going to get it all the way out to the edge. I want to get it on about a uh, half a millimeter thick. I'm just pushing it around. It's like goo. I might put it on kind of thickly and then just distribute it. There we go. Almost done. Don't want to block any holes here. And then I'll kind of smooth it out. And if it was pooling in the middle, that would mean that it was too thin and I would add some more powder. Um, and if it's standing up in chunks, then it's too dry and I would add a few more drops of water. Once I get to this point, I can tap it and it'll smooth out. And now I'm going to dry it. And I would just set it on top of my kiln in um, a little trivet in order to dry. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes to dry. Once it's dry, um, this is what it looks like. And this is hard as a rock. It's like cement. It's not going anywhere. I'm, I'm actually rubbing on this and it's not coming off. Um, I can turn it over. I can tap it. It's not going to come off. It's not going to go anywhere. And this allows me to enamel the front and the back at the same time. I can put do whatever kind of enamel work I want uh, on the front and then I can just fire it all at once. Um, after it's fired, um, it's going to look like that. It becomes a nice, smooth um, enamel. And it comes in six different colors. This is the black before it's fired, and this is the black after it's fired. And it also comes in red and blue. Whoops, didn't give myself quite enough room here. I'll just back that up and semi-clear and white. And that is counter enamel.